Hello everyone, my name is Shubhav Shiroi. The main objective of making this video is to demonstrate my internship at Smart Intern's final project that is the detection of pneumonia from human lung x-ray images. So, around the world, 16% of every death of children under 5 worldwide are responsible due to pneumonia. Recently, life-threatening pneumonia-complicated coronavirus disease is proclaiming thousands of lives in 2020. Pneumonia is an inflammatory lung condition which not only involves a single illness but diff many different illnesses caused by different microorganisms. So what are the applications of computer-aided system for medical diagnosis? The detection of pneumonia disease is commonly performed through the examination of chest X-ray radiographs, named CXR. The pneumonia diagnosis on CXR is hectic due to the presence of scenarios and conditions in the lungs such as bleeding, fluid overload, loss in volume, post-radiation or post-surgical changes. To improve the efficiency and accuracy of diagnosis, computer-aided systems for pneumonia detection has been widely explo uh, explored in the last decade. Deep learning approaches outperformed or outnumbered conventional machine learning methods in many medical imaging analysis tasks including detection, classification and segmentation. Now I would like to talk about the data set which I have used for creating this model. Uh, we have used this uh, the chest x-ray images pneumonia by Paul Mooney and the best part of this data set is that the data set is uh, beautifully aligned for making data pipelines. So this is the Jupyter notebook which where I've written the entire program. Uh, firstly uh, this this is for the model building purpose only and later the, uh, the I'll explain the block diagram where the entire process of this project is explained. I would like to talk about the training and compiling and uh, creation of model over this part. Firstly, I have imported the required libraries for plotting, for the layers and stuff. And next, the I would like to talk about the concept of transfer learning. Transfer learning is a technique used uh, using the parameters of a model trained on some other maybe similar data set. Uh, either we can directly use it for just making our required predictions or we can train some of its layers to predict on our own data set. In traditional machine learning approaches, we do not take knowledge from one learning system to another even if the data sets are similar. But in transfer learning, we take the parameters from another system and can use it to train on our own data, own data set. Uh, TensorFlow supports transfer learning with variety of models with pre-trained with some of them, them are uh, VGG16 which we have used in this model, others are VGG19, ResNet50, ResNet101, ResNet152. So VGG16 is a convolutional neural network model proposed by K. Simonian and A. Zeisman from the University of Oxford in the paper Very Deep Convolutional Networks for Large Scale Image Recognition. The, the VGG16 was trained for weeks and and was using NVIDIA Titan Black GPUs, which consists uh, it's a data set over 14 million images belonging to thousand classes. Okay, so over here we have loaded the VGG16 model using the Keras applications module. So uh, over here. Uh, this parameter is used to load the entire model except for the last fully connected layers. Also, we flatten out the uh, we flatten the output of the model, add a dense layer to predict whether the person is healthy or is pneumonic. So we make a data generator for training the model. We uh, load the VG16 model with ImageNet weights without fully uh, without the fully connected layers, uh, well, ImageNet, ImageNet is a formerly uh, project aimed at labeling and categorizing images into almost 22,000 separate object categories. Then finally, we, after flattening out the last layer, we compile and train the model, uh, which 
approximately took me 45 minutes or maybe an hour to uh, train the model and after plotting the accuracy and loss curves as you can see over here and finally saving the model uh, with an extension h5 extension which consists uh, which is hierarchical data format extension which consists of multi-dimensional arrays of scientific data well i would like to talk about the block diagram the entire way the our model works okay yeah this is the roadmap sketch of how the user will interact with the web app and how the backend will work the user will upload an x-ray images image uh, to be precise one image via a web page after submitting the image the image will redirect to the flask server where our previously trained model will be used to make predictions after the predictions the responses will be sent back to the web page via server i would like to show you the flash code yeah this is the flash code we have total uh, okay so we initialize our flask app as shown in the code we also tell our flask app to look for the templates uh, for rendering it to the web page the entire uh, i'll talk about the process the way how the code is uploaded into the flask server first we check the post request uh, then we verify if the if the file is uploaded or not then we check if the file has an empty name uh, as sometimes a uh, file with an empty name is sent to the server in case the request times out we check if the file format is jpg jp jpeg or png or not well all other if all other conditions are satisfied then we uh, save the file by removing previously uploaded files there are two html files named as base.html and home.html this this for the mainly for the front end purpose also this i will talk about the this uh, this part of the code uh, we load the uploaded file from the path as we have mentioned and resize it to 2 to 4 2 to 4 and convert into rgb if the image is in grayscale since our model requires rgb files we convert the image into numpy array and then reshape finally we make predictions on our model as uh, the model which is mentioned over here the name of our model as i've said previously in the jupyter notebook uh, and convert and make predictions from the model convert them to our labels and return it at our home method we take this level and send this to our template now i'll just demonstrate the working of our the array is active the tipper girl is active i've already previously activated the uh, app which i've written in spider so Okay. we'll reach local host 5000 so this is the uh, the web page we have made in the flask app and we'll choose a file from the data set okay okay so these are the two categories normal and pneumonia i'll pick up normal first and then submit which shows the result is healthy i'll do it once again the result is healthy it's able to determine it now i'll choose a from the data set yeah uh, affected one which is result is mnemonic i'll select another one this one maybe the result is mnemonic so this is the way our the entire project is uh, based upon that would be all thank you so much